What is up, my Red Rebel Nation family? Welcome back, guys. Look, I got another thing for you guys today. It's actually from the Tiger King. If we all remember this, it, he's actually was from Oklahoma. Um, it was in 2020. It was a big documentary on Netflix. It made millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. I actually got to meet uh, Nick Menunez, I do believe was his name, the guy who did the filming for um, the uh, Ghost Adventures crew. I talked to him a little about, bit about this. And he said none of this was fake. None of this was put on. So I got I was actually fortunate enough to actually talk to him about that. Anyways, guys, Tiger King was huge. Like I said, now he's in prison. He's on three year sentence of 21 years. And if you look at this documentary, I'm going to call it documentary because it's kind of what it is. It's kind of like a question panel. It's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, anyways, he goes on, he asks, this guy asks him questions. He's in prison. He couldn't get an interview with him because they wouldn't allow him to. So it's basically questions is actually being asked. So without further ado, guys, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe, channel. It's highly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. Let's see what they have to say. Most popular docu-series of 2020. I am never going to financially recover from this. I would think the dude would be a fictional character on Adult Swim because I don't think there's anyone quite as unique as Joe Exotic. Netflix described him as a mulleted, gun-toting polygamist and country western singer who presides over an Oklahoma roadside zoo. He also ran as a libertarian for governor and even made it a point to assure the people that he wouldn't be making fidget spinners illegal. To the rumor that's going on now, I want to make and he did run for governor. It was so funny. He had this guy that literally didn't know anything really about him, that studied him. And then they come together. He put together a plan, and they, he ran for governor. So you got a roadside zoo owner running for governor now. Who was putting stuff in this guy's head? Who was the one saying good job to this guy? I actually want to know because it makes absolutely no sense. It's just like other people, you know, whenever you tell them good job and they keep going on something that you tell them good job to see themselves run themselves, that's kind of what they did to him. They got other people involved. The guy come up, took over the zoo. Joe Exotic went to prison. And if you're watching this video, it literally makes no sense the reason why he's in prison. The people that said the stuff that they said says different now. Anyways, guys, let's see what he has to say. Illegal fidget spinners? I had to email somebody to even know what the hell a fidget spinner was. It's that stupid little triangle toy thing that you sit there and spin. Why in the hell would somebody want to make that illegal? Now there's a whole lot more to the story than what Netflix showed, and that's what we're covering here today. So welcome to the first episode of Uncovering the Tiger King, and we'll be actually talking to Joe Exotic himself from prison. And we'll be adding way more context regarding the Tiger King docuseries and even raising a couple questions about it. Originally, I wanted to travel out and visit Joe in prison, but unfortunately they don't allow cameras, so we had to get creative. So I ended up sending him my questions and he recorded his answers on a legal call. So I'll be reading my questions and playing his answers and adding context where it's needed. Hey, Tozy, what's up? It's Joe Exotic, man. Hey, we're going to go through this list of questions. I'm just going to read them off to you uh, of what you're wondering, and I'll give you the answers. So you want to know how I'm doing in here? Let me tell you something. Being locked up in an 8 by 12 foot room all the time with a toilet at the end of your bed, and you got to smell somebody else's all the time and the food is pathetic. I've been puking for 126 days and... Uh, did he say he was Wouldn't it be great if you can manage and read days, your mail? Guys. Went away Sorry on business, on guys. vacation, We're or abroad? Life pretty much sucks, man. So I need you all to help me to, to get through this system and get me home. Joe is currently three years into a 21-year sentence in prison. So my first question was, how's his morale? Every day I lay here and I pray to God to make my heart stop and just put an end to all this. That's, that's exactly where I'm at. And, you know, uh, 155,000 people in America are living the same way, if not worse. I've been two and a half years in solitary confinement. You know, I couldn't do this to, to a tiger or an animal, uh, according to the Animal Welfare Act in America, because we care more about animals than we do human beings. But the sad part is, is that there's a person that a, a week die in here. And th there's people in here with no arms and no legs and 85 years old. <laughs> crazy what, what we're doing to people in America, man. Our president and our and our Congress should be ashamed of themselves, especially for nonviolent. So the guy you just seen in this picture, let's go back a little bit. This guy right here, uh, not him. He's currently in prison for. Yeah. So the guy that was in this video. And 
85 years old. So Crazy guy, what, what we're doing to people in America, man. Our president and our, and our Congress should be ashamed of them. That guy right there actually is one of them that committed suicide. So he was in Joe Exotic's uh, office. Um, they was all sitting around. This guy actually had a Ruger because I guess all of them carried guns because of the Tigers. This guy had a pistol. I do believe it's a Ruger. He said that he doesn't believe that a Ruger with a clip in and one in the chamber that the Ruger wouldn't go off. So he put it to his head and pulled the trigger and it did go off. And it ended up killing this man. So now not only Joe Exotic is in prison, Joe Exotic's got to live with a lot of stuff that we actually don't know what's running through his head besides him saying he wishes his heart would stop. And that's a given. Anybody in prison at some point in time is going to actually think three years out of 21 years, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of looking for something to do. That's a lot of in a, in a cell that you're with somebody that you don't even know and you have to smell their shit on top of that. That is ridiculous. Who would want to do that? And plus, there was really no proof of Joe Exotic doing any of this stuff. And now these people's coming forward and saying he didn't do this stuff. Anyway, it makes no sense. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. Themselves, especially for nonviolent drug crimes that, that they never f***ing hurt nobody. I then asked him if he actually hired a hitman because that's what he's currently in prison for. Did I hire a hitman? No, I didn't hire no hitman. If you look on Joe Exotic, uh, slash evidence that the recordings and the affidavits from the so-called hitman are on there admitting to perjury and he made all this up and then he admitted that they had a plan to decapitate me and I'm the one that's in prison uh, dude there's nothing right about any of this so no uh, I, I did not hire a hitman I never heard of the plan to uh, cap cap decapitate him sorry guys decapitate him I never heard of that plan not even in the documentary did anybody say anything about decapitating Joe Exotic. So this is the first time I'm hearing this too. Just like you guys, this is the very first time. And the ones that seen the documentary, that was never said. All you heard about was Carol Baskins, Joe Exotic, and the, the girl that got her hand caught in a lion and got it ate off. And Joe Exotic's like, oh, sorry. That was the only time I felt negative towards Joe Exotic, besides him talking about walking around talking about hurting everybody. Then again, somebody was telling this guy, good job. They had to have been. Who in the right state of mind is going to have a place and let something go down the hill under them circumstances? The circumstances is this guy was told, good job, good job. You're doing a great job when really they was running his career. That's what the people was doing around him. And he thought they was a friend, his friend. It wasn't his friend. And this proves who they was. They was just there to get the zoo themselves. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what he has to say. To, to take out Carol Baskin. So to add context, he's talking about Alan Glover, the guy who testified that Joe hired him as a hitman. And he had this to say when questioned. I'm going to start with paragraph four. Tell me yes or no, true or false, okay or inaccurate. I committed perjury during my grand jury testimony regarding my involvement as the hitman in the for hire. Right. I committed perjury during my trial testimony regarding my involvement as the hitman in the for hire. So to my knowledge, his testimony was key to putting Joe away for years. But then he also had this to say. Anybody that needed to be, would be him. Party could just fall over dead. Did he want Carol Baskin dead? Yeah. Did he talk about it? It's like not as quite as bad as Joe, but yeah, he knew it was going to be a problem after he, he, if he got rid of Joe, Joe dropped dead, or he knew I was going to have Joe's head cut off. I was going to hook him up with a pee and a fire. What do you mean? I was going to stretch it across where he goes on his four wheeler, like about thirty mile an hour. So you and you and Jeff, prior to this whole thing going down, talked about Joe. Yeah. Nobody knows that, but you know, he knew about that. I even walked in there and showed him where it was going to happen. To me, it seems like Joe was seriously wronged here, and this is getting pretty much zero attention. But my next question was, has he been able to see the Tiger King documentary? Nope, have not seen any of it. Do you think it accurately portrays your story? Isn't that crazy, guys? Somebody can go on TV or go on panel, this guy's YouTube channel. Subscribers of 1.26 million subscribers how many people seen this video? That's another question. I think 167,000 people seen it. 
And he can say that he planned on doing this, but yet Joe Exotic's in prison himself? Joe Exotic never went and killed anybody. He didn't hurt anybody. Not one person. Did he make assumptions about hurting people and killing somebody? Sure he did. Carol Baskins. It's just like her, uh, her other husband ended up gone. So everybody's asking Carol Baskins, what happened to your husband? And she's like, oh, well, he's gone. Yeah, we know he's gone, but what happened to him? So everybody started making fun about tiger food and talking about tiger food and all this other stuff. All this stuff revolved around the Tiger King. Joe Exotic. It was huge. And now we're seeing people come forward and say something totally different than what they said before. Why is he in prison still? Is this our, is this our system? It takes half of what they see and puts him in prison just because he may not be the right person that the, you want? In the world? So you put him away? Is that what we're doing here? Are we going back to the olden days where whenever we see somebody that we don't like? So we just put him away whenever everybody else runs free that's really doing it? Is that what we're doing here? It makes absolutely no sense. This is all bonkers to me. Anyways, guys, let's see what he has to say. By all the bull that I've caught, and by the prison officials, and by people writing the letters and stuff, absolutely not. Didn't portray me right at all. Do you think a lot of it was made up or exaggerated? If so, please specify. You know, a lot was made up. And if you listen to Tiger Tales on YouTube with John Phillips, he has the proof and he has the affidavits that the producers of Royal Good Production who made Tiger King for Netflix, all of the witnesses that I needed for court under contract, confidentiality contracts, and paid them to talk shit for that documentary. So they were paying people, and we have this on recording, phone recordings, they were paying people like James Garrison $5,000 out of the in witness room uh, to keep the narrative going so they can make a movie to destroy my life. So Tiger King uh, done, done nothing but destroy my life. Has it done anything positive for you? Nope. Not a damn thing. Made Dylan rich. That's about all it done. Didn't do shit for me. I ain't got no money from it. Dylan took everything. You saw everything online. He sold my clothes. He sold everything. I have nothing. Nothing left at all. Dylan is Joe's ex-husband who was also in the first season. From what I can tell, when you advertise so, with Google, search ads are just the beginning. Told that they wasn't together Your ads the appear first, across. Uh, they went through a divorce. Whenever he had gone through a divorce, he actually told him why Joe Zodic was in prison. He didn't want to be with him anymore. He act, this guy, his ex husband, actually moved on. It was like probably a month later he moved on because he said Joe Zodic was never getting out of prison. Come to find out, he was much older than his husband was. So, and the guy that actually committed suicide on accident, I, I wouldn't call it suicide, I called it an accident at that point because he didn't know the gun was loaded. He didn't think it would disarm, dis, it, it would actually fire in the position it was in. Whenever we all know when there's a bullet in the chamber and you pull the trigger, it actually functions. So, with that being said, let's see what this guy has to say further on about the situation because I can keep going because I watched this whole documentary, I don't know, probably two or three times, I would say. So, and with furthermore, the guy that said he hired a hitman, now he says he didn't hire a hitman in this video. And he goes on forward to say what he was planning on doing to Joe Exotic. What is that, guys? That's planning to murder somebody. Why isn't that guy in jail? Why is Joe Exotic in jail when all this stuff is actually proven that it's all false at this point? Do you see where I'm getting at here? Anyways, guys, let's see what he has to say. Divorce when Joe wasn't pardoned in the end of 2020. My next question was, has the Tiger King docuseries negatively affected your life? Absolutely. I've spent two and a half years in solitary confinement over this because the federal government doesn't want the truth out there. And just to let you know, this is all being recorded on a legal call, okay, to, to answer all these questions, right? So, yeah, no, it has done nothing to make my life suck. Knowing answering those questions was probably tough, so I decided to try to lighten the mood by asking him what his favorite thing of owning a zoo was helping sick people and helping animals my animal miracle network meant the world to me uh granting last wishes for sick people and sick kids and uh being able to have the gift from god to be able to walk in a cage and kiss 20 tigers on the face do you think your employees were loyal to you john rinky was the only one loyal to me eric kelly you, you see what happened to him karma got him 
Brenda passed away to Amber, Katrina, Dylan West, all of them. Chicken sh- Everybody was a chicken. John Finley was the biggest chicken. Sh- he should have been the one to, to stick up and, and tell the truth all along, but no, he tucked his tail and, and sold himself out to John Rinke is the only stand-up man that's in that whole zoo. Have you achieved what you wanted to achieve in life, or do you think there's more for you to get done? You know, I don't know what God's plan is for me, but uh, I'm hoping that there's a whole lot more for me to get done. Do you still have beef with Carol Baskin? You know what? I never really had a beef with Carol Baskin. I just wanted to prove that she killed her husband, and I wanted to expose her scams to, to the world of how she was scamming people for, for money. And uh, I protected my zoo. I had a loud mouth. I did a lot of crazy shit on TV, but it was all on TV. And it was all to keep people from coming in and burning my studio down. It was to, to keep people in from cutting their cages open and letting my animals out. And if you look at the, the 911 intruder on YouTube video on my YouTube channel, hell, somebody came in there and even tried to keep Winky at 8 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, the only thing I did was I acted crazy so people would stay the hell out of my zoo. Do you really think Carol her husband? She fed his ass to the tigers, dude. I can tell you, I can tell the government, I've tried to tell everybody with that meat grinder is in that pond right there on Big Cat Rescue, all right? And what the cats didn't eat is underneath that septic tank, but nobody will listen to me and she's got everybody paid off, so, so be it. I saw there was a headline where Carol Baskin was offering to help you get out of prison. Do you think she can really get you out of prison? I think Carol Baskin's the one who put me in here. And and I think all it would take is her to call the White House or call the U.S. Attorney's Office and call off the dogs and she could get me out of here. She even said that she would help me with the pardon uh, if I supported the Big Cat Safety Act. The Big Cat Safety Act is only going to make that rich and I refuse to support the Big Cat Safety Act. As bad as I want to go home, I'm never going to support the Big Cat Safety Act. So she could get me out of here if she wanted to. After doing a bunch of research on this, I found out that Jeff Lowe at one point was actually claiming he was going to delete or destroy evidence that could lead to Joe being exonerated. So I had to ask him, what are your current thoughts on Jeff Lowe? Okay, if I had the chance to just talk to Jeff Lowe to his face, I'd say, Jeff, you know, you spent a lifetime stealing, conning people, using using them for, for their money and just being a, a common so Carol Baskin was the woman that Joe Exotic had a problem with. Carol Baskin was the other one that ran a tiger zoo type thing. It was more like a safety for tigers, basically. So you had Carol Baskin's thinking that Joe Exotic didn't take care of the, co- the tigers correctly. So Carol Baskin's filled out a whole bunch of paperwork against Joe Exotic, and Joe Exotic back uh, retaliated with, Videos about shooting things, about killing her, about all this other stuff. The hitman that talked that was never hired, the bog guy, was the one that supposedly was supposed to catch Carol Baskin out when she was riding her bike. That's all in the documentary on Netflix. So it never happened. So now you've got Joe Exotic in prison. Carol Baskin, Joe Exotic says that Carol Baskin killed her husband. That is a hell... That is a hell of a thing to say. Joe Exotic, can you really set up for that? Can you really tell us that 100%, you were 100% sure of that? Did you see it happen? Because if you didn't see it happen, there's nothing you could do about it, Joe Exotic. But Carol Baskin is a problem child. We know she is. We've seen her on the documentary. We've seen Joe Exotic do stupid stuff to try to keep people out. Now, whether Joe Exotic really did is I don't believe he did. I think it was all because people was telling him, good job, keep going, whenever he was really fucking up his whole career. That's what I believe. Anyways, guys, that is my theory on this. That is my opinion. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Thief, right? You lie, you Photoshop, you forge. It's crazy the crimes that you have gotten away with on the trafficking you need to make peace with god once because you get into the age that you're just gonna wake up whenever you're gonna go to sleep one day and never wake up like eric Callie did and uh eternity in hell is gonna be where you're gonna live the rest of your life if you don't start making something right but you know the the sad part is is that poor kid's gotta walk in your footsteps of the bullshit that you pulled on that is a hell of a thing to say in turning eternity in hell flames brimstones Burning, hell, eternity. Joe Exotic, do you hear the theories that you're coming up with in this whole thing? Do you hear what this man's questions has asked you? Everything this man has actually asked you has proven you non-guilty in this situation. This guy actually helped you. A million and one million, one million twenty, 
1 million point 26 subscribers guys he actually asked questions if you think about it theory this guy actually asked joe exotic questions that actually proved him not guilty everybody else in this whole series that you we just seen and we watched and we witnessed for ourselves said what they was going to do they contemplated murder and they're still out here running around the hitman was supposed to hit carol baskins not joe exotic so where did this whole thing go you had many people speculating murder and one person's in prison joe exotic said it's from money joe exotic said carol baskin could actually bail him his ass out if she just went to the white house and said something you mean to tell me carol baskin's that big i never knew that carol baskin i guess is huge at this point guys money and everything i know where her, her new husband is loaded Without it further ado, guys, let's see what he has to say. People, that's pretty much my thoughts of Jeff Lowe. See, I wish I could be able to ask these questions live so I could elaborate it on all of these rants here. But my next question was, if you could say something to Jeff Lowe, what would it be? Want to know exactly guys, what's in your P.O. box without wasting shows time and everybody gas? About how Wouldn't it be great if you can met The system actually never... is. You have people contemplating murder and saying it on video and one guy's behind bars at this point it just goes to show you what money can do and who you know anyways guys let's see what they have to say i met you man you're just a piece of shit. and uh you're never gonna change the, the longer i'm in here the worse you get the more the less attention you get the the worse your stories get do everybody a favor and just go away. Is there anything you wish you did differently? I wish I'd have never started a zoo. I damn sure wish I'd have never let Jeff Lowe in my life. That's where I went wrong. Carol Baskin wasn't compared to Jeff Lowe because all she done was sue me and send spies. Now, Jeff Lowe was another guy. He was actually from Vegas. He comes in. He had a young wife. Um, they had tigers themselves. Um, he was a self-proclaimed millionaire. He comes in. The rumors was is he got all of his money taken, but come to find out, he ran Joe Exotic out. He's the one that told the so-called hit guy that was supposed to have cut or caught Carol Baskins, and he was supposed to go on and beheaded Joe Exotic. Whenever that was supposed to be Joe Exotic's friend. In the first place, he lived on the grounds with him. But when the guy came, when Jeff Lowe came from Las Vegas, he actually hired that guy as a groundskeeper, guys. So this is an inner circle type thing. This is something that makes absolutely no sense. Why is the one that didn't do anything in prison? That's usually how it works, right? Anyways, guys, if you haven't seen the documentary on Netflix, go check it out. Joe Exotic, Tiger King is what it's called. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. My zoo. She chased me for 10 years, but Jeff Lowe, that lion bastard, is the one who, who set me up and, and did all this. How's your current health? I've vomited for 126 days straight now. Beat cancer. I get blood twice a month. Can't keep anything down. The stress is, is going to kill me. The, the radiation that I received to get over cancer is going to kill me. What is your path to pardon? I got some pretty awesome people out there right now fighting for me and being my voice. Jesse Metzger, Hannah Lee, Hogan, uh, Nick Hogan, Kindly, Kendra, Nalene, all of them, man. They're, they're, my, my circle of fan friends is getting huge and my voice is getting stronger. So all I can do is, is hope to hell and pray to God that President Biden sees the truth and uh, backs up his promise that he made campaigning, saying that he was going to uh, fix the justice system. And uh, letting me go home would be the first step in fixing something that was terribly done wrong. Is getting a pardon your only way out of prison? Apparently, no. I'm on appeal. My our agreements are September the 28th, I believe, for my my appeal in Denver, Colorado. I have a motion for a new trial. I still have a 2255 file, which is uh, ineffective counsel. It's just going to take time if I don't get a pardon, if I live through it. So a pardon would be the fastest way to get me home. All I want to do is go home to Fort Smith, Arkansas, get married to Seth, and move on with my life, go on tour, do some interviews, be a voice for the rest of the people in prison that are being 
severely abused. So that's my plan to, if I make it out of here. Hell, I got 22 and I didn't touch nobody. And, and now we know that it was all lies. Is there anything you would like to share with the world? Man, you know, I've gotten over 50,000 letters since I've been going through this from everywhere around the world. And I'd like to just say, I love each and every one of you. I don't care how famous you are or how non-famous you are. I appreciate you being my voice and with my, my ride home if I make it through this. So hold your heads up and be my voice because I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I definitely believe that Joe is wronged and I don't think he should be sitting behind prison bars for the next 18 years. I talked to Joe's lawyer and I found out he's currently low on funds to fight his case. So I've decided to dedicate my first drop of my new clothing brand called Oddly Dystopian, which will be a t-shirt design that's dedicated to this man. And 50% of the profit. Guys, look. So we have Joe Exotic, who actually never even touched one person. Doing 22 years, 21 years. He's been in there three years, guys. He's made it through. He, he has cancer. He has everything else. He's, he's doing chemo. He says it's going to kill him. Radiation is going to kill him. We all know that's terrible. We wouldn't wish that on our worst enemy, guys. But we have someone in prison that didn't touch nobody, and the people that speculated murder is talking about it. I don't know what that's called. Is that called karma? Is that the, is that the system doing this stuff? Is that people that just has money? Is Carol Baskins hiding them? I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, like yourself, love yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's highly appreciated. Salute the Creek Squad. Red Rebel Nation, I love you guys. YouTube family, I love you guys. You guys, your boy Deuces is out. Love you guys. Have a good one.